Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You probably already know that when you import images into any version of Lightroom, Lightroom will automatically do some pre-processing to those images. If you're working with Lightroom Classic though, you're able to control exactly what pre-processing is done. Allow me to show you. Uh, recently I purchased a Nikon Z8 and down the film strip are a number of images that I've recently taken with this camera. Almost all of these images were just imported into Lightroom and I didn't or haven't done any editing on them at all. For example, the one that is showing, you'll look at the right hand panel of the develop module, you'll see all the little eyeballs are diminished, indicating I haven't done any editing at all. But if I open up that detail tab, you'll notice that Lightroom automatically, when I imported the image, set the sharpening amount slider to 40 and it set the color slider, color noise reduction slider, to 25. Lightroom just automatically did that on all of these images when they were imported. And you can see that the settings are the same for all of them and the little eyeballs are diminished for all of them. But if I go over to one image, let's say this image here that I already did edits to, and you'll notice that amongst the edits I did is I went to the detail tab and I took the sharpening amount slider down to zero and the color amount slider down to zero and it lit up that little eyeball. That's indicating I did edits on that panel. I did some basic edits as well, and I added a mask, and I did some edits with that mask. So some masks were done, or a mask was done. I did some basic edits, and all it did in detail was take sharpening down to zero and color noise reduction down to zero, and that's it. That's all the edits I've done. But if I come down here and click Reset to bring me back to my raw defaults, you'll notice it will automatically put that sharpening amount slider to 40 and the color noise reduction slider to 25. I don't want Lightroom to do that. When I import images taken with my Nikon Z8, I want color noise reduction at zero and the sharpening amount slider set to zero. And furthermore, when I click reset on any image that was taken with the Nikon Z8, I want the sharpening amount slider at zero and I want that color noise reduction slider set to zero as well. Well, how do you do this? Well, you have to set up raw defaults for this specific camera. To do that, what you need to do first is get on an image that was taken with that camera. This is a good image to use. And then go over to the right hand panel and set everything the way you want it. Uh, for myself, as I mentioned, I want color noise reduction at zero. I want sharpening uh, mount to zero. I also want to go to lens corrections and I want to have auto, a Lightroom automatically do lens corrections when it's imported or when I click the reset button. And you see that the raw defaults already have that set up. But I also want to add remove chromatic aberration. So I'll click there and you see it lit up the little eyeball because it's different than the raw default. So I'll do that. Now, you're not limited to just detail and lens corrections. You could do anything you want. Uh, if you wanted to automatically add a vignette when you import or you want some basic settings or you want to automatically use a tone curve or anything you want, you could have Lightroom automatically do that when the image is imported uh, or when you click that reset button, anything. For me, it's just those two things. I want these two sliders set to zero in the detail tab and I want uh, chromatic aberration added to lens corrections. Now, once you set up your RAW file the way you want it to be defaulted, what you need to do is create a preset. Now, don't get ahead of me. You're not going to have to apply this preset every time. It's not like that. We're going to set up Lightroom to automatically reference that preset when it's importing images and or when you hit that reset button. So what you need to do is create this preset once you have everything set up the way you want it. So click the little plus sign over here on presets and create a preset. Call it anything you want. First of all, what do you want? I should say. Well, let's start at the top and work our way down. Call it anything you want. I'm going to call it a Nikon Z8 defaults. Oops, if I spelled defaults right. All right, right? Then where do I want to put it? Well, I want to put it in my group. I already have a group I created called camera defaults. You could call your group anything you want, or you could just save it in your user presets. It doesn't matter where this is saved, but I do have a group called camera defaults. You can see it's right over here. So I'm going to put it in there. Now, what settings do you want to save to this preset? Well, I'll just click check all because that's the way I want it, right? So that's fine. Check all and click create. Now, if I go over to the presets camera defaults, you could see that it's there, Z8 default right there. But if I go over here and click reset again, it still hasn't worked yet. You see the detail has sharpening at 40 and color noise reduction at 25 and 
I go to lens corrections, you can see the chromatic aberration is not checked. So it's not ready yet. What you need to do next is go to Lightroom Preferences. If you're on a Mac, Lightroom Preferences is under the Lightroom Classic menu. If you're on a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Go to Lightroom Preferences and go to the second tab from the left, Presets. Right here, this section, see Raw Defaults? This is where we're going to set it up. What you need to do, if it's not already checked, check this box to override the global setting for specific cameras. That way, Lightroom's going to look at the specific camera and then look here to see what default preset is going to be applied when you import or click reset. So it should automatically, since we're on a Nikon Z8 image, it should automatically populate then after you check this box, it should populate this with the exact camera that you want, in this case, Nikon Z8. You actually could do this by serial number as well. So if you have one set of raw defaults you want for a Nikon Z8 with serial number, let's say 111111, and you have another set of raw defaults you want, for a Nikon Z8 that has a different serial number than what I just said, then you could set it up that way as well. Uh, why you might want to do that, I'm not sure. But maybe you have one Z8 you use for macro photography and you want specific raw defaults for that one and another Z8 used for sports photography and you want to set different set of defaults for that. Maybe that's it. But for me, I just have one Nikon Z8. I'm not worried about serial numbers. Now default, you don't want to use the Adobe default. We want to use that preset. So to do that, Click this little drop down, go to where it says preset, and then go over here and go to camera defaults because that's where I have it. And I called it a Nikon Z8 defaults. All the rest are called default. For some reason, I called that defaults, but that's fine. So I have that there. Now, this little button, create default, click there, and you'll notice it was added. So it's right there, Nikon Z8, and it's using that preset. It's done. Now, close this down. Now, if you look over here, remember our Previous, last time I hit reset, it put the amount slider at 40 and color at 25, and it unchecked that checkbox for lens corrections. Well, now when I click reset, it uses the defaults I wanted to use. It put those sliders at zero, and it checked this checkbox. And it will do that for any of these images. So, for example, this image, it has sharpening of 40, color noise reduction, whatever. Click reset. See how it sets it up the way I want it. Now, any future images that I import into Lightroom Classic will automatically use these raw defaults that I just set up. So isn't that cool? Now, uh, one little thing. I Remember I said I added a nest there? Nikon Z8 defaults. If I right-click right on that preset and I rename it, I could get rid of the S. And you don't have to worry about it. Lightroom is tracking that change. So if I go up to Preferences, you'll notice that the Nikon Z8 is using the Nikon Z8 default. I don't have to worry about fixing anything here if I have to rename the preset. You can see I have a number of different presets because I specifically want, when I import images into Lightroom Classic, I specifically want specific settings. I said specifically a lot. Anyway, for example, uh, Nikon X or Fujifilm X-T1, I don't want it to use the camera profile, maybe I don't want it to put sharpening up. Almost always, Lightroom's going to add a default amount of sharpening when you import images and a default amount of noise reduction. Sometimes it adds luminance noise reduction as well. So personally, as I mentioned, I don't want Lightroom to do any of that. I want to do it myself. So when I import images or hit reset, I want these set to zero. That's why I am a big uh, user or believer in uh, incorporating raw defaults uh, with Lightroom Classic. And that's it. Hopefully that helps you uh, set up your Lightroom Classic so that it does the pre-processing to your images the way you want it to do it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.